have you ever felt? All right, we've got a really quick tie. This is a fun one. If you've got some of those October caddis in your area, this is a good little soft hackle pupa. So we'll just start off our thread and dress it down. Bend the hook a little bit. Now for the body, we're gonna be using the Kylie's Nymph Skins. It's a latex material. Got the rust colored. And you may want to match this to whatever color of the natural you're seeing. Sometimes it'll be a little brighter orange. So I take the piece and I like to uh, give it a little point so I can tie it in a little better here. And now I'm just going to move my thread up about the thorax. Like so. And then we'll just start to wind this. <clears throat> the first few wraps I keep a little bit tighter. And then once that taper kind of goes away, I'll loosen the wraps and then I can just use the rotary feature here. Okay, now once that's tied down, we'll just go ahead and snip this tag end off. And then I like to come in here and just bind this down a little bit more. So we'll be just in front of the hook point as far as the, the distance goes. Okay, I'm going to tie the thorax in two pieces, at least the dubbing. It's going to be ice dub. We're going to use some UV hot orange. And this also acts as a, a way to kind of lay down a base for our uh, soft tackle that we're going to tie in there. And with ice dub, I usually just like to get a little bit of a dubbing wax, and it helps to get that to bite down a little bit more. And then just a little bit behind where we're going to tie in the soft tackle. And before I go too much further, I like to tease out some of the fibers. with my handy Stompho dubbing brush tool. Okay, get a little bit of bugginess there. Now I'm gonna grab my 4B hen cape, and this is black. Now the way I like to prepare it is I'll take one edge and strip off all the fibers, and I usually like to go a little bit longer than the whole hook length of uh, stripped fibers. And then we'll just tie this down with the stem right in front of that clump of dubbing that we tied in. And then take a couple wraps in front of it. And then I usually just like to clip off my end here so it doesn't get in the way. Then I just grab some hackle pliers. We've got these CNF hackle pliers here. And I'm going to lay down probably about two, two and a half wraps. That's one. And then the next one right in front of it. And that's two. And then about a half is where I'll end up. And if you hold that on there, you can just actually rip that off. All right, now what I like to do is grab some more ice dub, and this time in black, and I'll put this in front of where I ended off with the hackle. And I usually like to come in here and just preen some of these fibers back so that I can come in with the dubbing and just roll right up onto that, uh, the hackle there. And then,
those legs. We'll brush that out in a second. And then what I like to do is just, again, because I've got a bead on here, you want to make sure you've got enough filler. And so we're just going to put in a little hot spot with our thread. grab the dubbing brush again. You want to just make sure you don't grab the thread, but then I can tease the dubbing collar back into the soft hackle. And there we go. Super easy to tie. And you can fish them as a pupa or you can nymph them up, a dropper off of bigger October caddis, but uh, it's, a, it's a good little pattern. So give it a try.